What's up everybody? Brian here at 3TR and I got another video. It turns out I got a bit of an early birthday gift yesterday and they released the first official Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes trailer allowing us to see exactly what the Fox engine is capable of. So I'm just going to go over what I think the story is and my thoughts on what the Fox engine could do which was quite impressive. Uh, it definitely, my initial thoughts on what it was going to be about seems to be correct. Uh, it is going to take place after Peace Walker. I'm guessing maybe a couple of months. I doubt they'll push a few years. And I'm guessing that the title Ground Zeroes may be referring to uh, Zero because you have to remember uh, if you've played Mogus Solid 4 you know that it is at around this time that uh, Big Boss is kind of in a bit of a conflict with Major Zero. So Perhaps Major Zero knows precisely what Snake has been up to these last few years and probably wants to either take control of him or bring him down. So that could be a possibility. Uh, but apparently it definitely takes place in the same setting as Peace Walker. It, we're definitely still in Cuba. And from what uh, happened in the trailer, it looks like uh, Chico was captured and apparently passed too. And she was being interrogated by this guy who, I don't know, I'll call him Mr. Snake Man. And apparently Mr. Snake Man is a, uh, I don't know, he's apparently supposed to be some type of collaborator because you see him and a lot of the soldiers that we saw in Peace Walker wearing fox patches. Now, we're not sure if these are actual fox members who are defecting against Big Boss or if they're just soldiers pretending to be Foxhound members who are trying to infiltrate uh, Big Boss's facility. We're not sure yet, but apparently they're planning something that's definitely going to involve Big Boss or Outer Haven or I'm sure by this time the Zanzibar mission, although I don't think we're going to get that far in the game. I think that's where the game will end for sure because, you know, Solid Snake, because uh, Big Boss definitely looks old enough when you see him to yeah, he's getting to the point where he's starting to look like he would be in uh, the first Metal Gear. So I absolutely do believe that the first, the end of this game will be the beginning of the Zanzibar mission, which is going to be awesome. They just need to get those games remade. Uh, and as the trailer goes on, he's talking to Chica, who's like put in a cage-like area, and he's telling him, you know, that, you know, Paz didn't suffer more and that he interrogated her and he kept his word and then he gives Chico a tape recorder and the song Here's to You plays, which for those of you who don't know was playing at the end of Metal Gear Solid 4 during the credits, which I actually really liked this version of Here's to You and I'm definitely going to look it up so I can, uh, I don't know, put it on my PSP. And as the trailer goes on, they're just driving apparently on some sort of like prison camp facility to these helicopters and I don't know he grabs this little device and he likes be able to do like a digital spray on this helicopter to remove the lettering and then you actually get to see what Mr. Snake Man looks like and he either looks like he's either a radiation a very heavily uh, contaminated radiation victim a very bad burn victim or he has a really bad skin disease but he actually looks pretty intim pretty intimidating I will say that and uh, they're all wearing uh, fox patches and when they get in the helicopter and start flying off they actually rip these fox patches off so that's kind of why I think that these are either defectors or these are guys pretending to be infiltrators I don't know yet but hopefully we'll get more information soon and uh, as the helicopter is flying off, you see Snake uh, climbing up a mountain, and he definitely looks old. And uh, let's see, what's this? Master is saying age didn't slow you down, and he says, <laughs> he says no. And that's when we actually surprisingly got to see a bit of the Fox engine. And it looks like we're actually going to have the first Metal Gear that, or, or not maybe not the first, maybe four did this one, but we're definitely going to have a game that actually blends in the cutscenes with the gameplay, which is all, which is always far more impressive than having gameplay and then we go into HD cutscenes and then we go right back to the gameplay. It looks like they're going to be able to blend them in perfectly, which means we may not even get uh, load screens, which would be a major plus for Metal Gear. And it pretty much is showing what the Fox Sense can do. It looks like they've 
the Fox engine can do rain very well. And all you see in terms of gameplay is a uh, big boss, I don't know, hiding behind some rocks and there's a camp of a spotlight and then when he starts to head down the like down the path, he gets spotted and the alarm goes off and that's where it ends. So uh, I'm definitely very, very, very pumped up. I hope this game comes out next year. I actually, if it is, I'll have to change my top tens list of anticipated games. If it comes out 2014, I'm definitely happy for that too. Uh, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this. This isn't Metal Gear Solid 5, and I've heard from a friend of mine that perhaps Metal Gear Solid 5 may actually go with the idea that I came up with, which I would be very ecstatic for. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero definitely has my approval. I hope to come over a collector's edition. I'm definitely buying it. I might even buy two copies for me and maybe one of you guys out there for a future contest question. But if you guys have seen it, tell me what do you guys think the storyline is going to be and what do you think of the Fox engines? And feel free to comment your thoughts and ideas down below. And if you like this video, please like, comment down below, and subscribe up top to keep track of me and my future videos. And like always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.